Forests of the majestic Western Ghat mountain ranges are a cradle of biological evolution, the richest expression of life on the earth. They have survived continental drifts, climatic changes, and are now home to thousands of plant and animal species. Many are the wonders of biodiversity that one finds here. The Kurinji plant has been programmed by nature to bloom only once in several years. This extraordinary accuracy of biological rhythm paints the whole landscape blue. One can observe the footprints of our ancient culture in these Kurunji lands. Remains of cave paintings, rock carvings, sculptured slabs and burial cysts speak of our forefathers and their intimate association with the wilderness. Most of our cultural milestones are pitched deep inside these forests. One notices a strong influence of Jainism and Buddhism in an area where animism and nature worship were practiced. Forests have been witnesses not only to geological changes but also to cultural and historical transformations. Western Ghats and the Himalayan ranges are the two hot spots of biodiversity in India. No other mountain range in India matches their variety and richness. What makes Western Ghats unique is a variety of forest habitats and associated biota. The Shola grassland vegetation is unique to the Ghats Mountains. This ecosystem harbors species which have survived gradual climatic changes and tectonic processes for more than 30,000 years since the last glaciation. These Pleistocene refugia are mostly restricted to the Western Ghats, south of Kool, and are among the most endangered ecosystems in the country today. Iravikulam, the first national park in the state, probably harbors half of all Nilgiri tar, one of the most endangered mammals of this biological realm. The mating season of the tar coincides with the arrival of the monsoon. The males fight among themselves to establish mating rights. Eighty-five percent of the park area is grassland. Low temperature and heavy frost impede the growth of trees. Myriad varieties of grasses in these rolling meadows are a feast for the eyes. These grasslands are climax vegetation, the biological excellence of the landscape.
Trees are laden with mosses, lichens, and a variety of epiphytic orchids. These testify to a spectrum of possible biological associations and the time-tested efficiency of nature in the use of matter and energy. This patch of greenery that has survived time harbors many evolutionary memories. These species here link us to our geological past. Cyathea is an evolutionary succession to the tree fern that once dominated the forests of Carboniferous age millions of years ago. The Shola grassland ecosystem is a refuge to several endangered and rare flora and fauna. Lycopodium, Drosera, Hediotis, Campanula, Iriocolon, and Impatiens are among the many species endemic to this area. Impatiens, the balsam that has more than 60 endemic species in the Western Ghats. There are 44 rivers in Kerala which sustain and enrich the lifestyles of the people. These rivers originate as streams and rivulets from this wilderness. All these rivers, excepting three, flow westward towards the Arabian Sea. These mangroves are remnants of the tidal forest that once covered Kerala's coastal marshes. Tended by the ebb and the flow of tides and nourished by the silt washed down by hill streams, mangroves enriched and protected the coastline. It provided safe breeding ground for life-sustaining fishery resources. As mangroves gave way to changing culture and lifestyles, the life of traditional fisher folks became miserable. It is estimated that Kerala had nearly 700 square kilometers of mangroves, which have by now shrunk to a mere 17 square kilometers. Short lines of backwaters and mangrove swamps are important winter habitats for the waterfowls that come from far and wide, from the Himalayas to the polar region. They are attracted by the sumptuous feast of mud crabs and shells that abound in the marshy coastal habitats.
കാട്ടാംപള്ളി ആൻഡ് ചെമ്പല്ലി കുണ്ടു ഇൻ കണ്ണൂർ കവായ് ഇൻ കാസർഗോഡ് കടലുണ്ടി ഇൻ കോഴിക്കോട് പൊന്നാനി വൈ ദ ഭാരതപ്പുഴ മീറ്റ്സ് ദ സി കോൾ ലാൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് തൃച്ചൂർ കുമരകം ആൻഡ് പാതിരാമണൽ ഇൻ കോട്ടയം ആർ ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഹാബിറ്റാറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് വാട്ടർ ബേർഡ്സ് ഇൻ കേരള Kumarakam lies on the banks of the Lake Vembanad in Kottayam district. Kumarakam literally means silted land mass. It is the largest breeding locality for snake birds in peninsular India. Night heron, cormorants and migratory birds such as marsh harriers are a few of the winged beauties of this habitat. Tatekar, a bird sanctuary on the banks of the river Periyal, presents a spectrum of habitats ranging from evergreen, semi-evergreen forests, grasslands, bamboo breaks, etc. Plantations and reservoirs provide a mix of natural and man-made ecosystems which make this an ideal bird habitat. Perhaps this is the last remnant of lowland forests that has survived human onslaught. Tartekar was the dreamland of Salim Ali, the bird man of India. During the Travancore Bird Survey, he had reported 167 bird species. But among them, water bird species are few. Now there are nearly 30 species of resident and migratory water birds reported from this sanctuary. It is the still waters abounding in water lilies, utricularia, crepuscular mussels that attract the birds to Tatekar. In recent years, rare birds such as open bill stalks have been visiting Tatekar. Tropical wet evergreen forests are climax vegetation perfected through centuries of evolution and succession. West Coast tropical evergreen forests and tropical hilltop evergreen forests, cane breaks and reed breaks nourished by special edaphic habitats presents diversity of evergreen habitats. 37% of Kerala forests are evergreen. Several thousands of artisans make a living out of the reeds, bamboos and canes extracted from these forests. Evergreen forests have less number of heartwoods. However, those present are highly valued in the timber market. Gluta travancorica, locally known as Chandurni, is an endemic timber tree which has very restricted distribution in the southern western ghats the scarlet red timber of this tree is one of the most sought after timbers in india chandurni wildlife sanctuary owes its name to the chandurni trees conservation of chandurni trees is one of the objectives of the sanctuary Wet evergreen forests of Kerala form a valuable genetic reserve of a spectrum of plant resources. 
one of the 12 hotspots of biological diversity in the world. Global food security depends on the success of our efforts to conserve this invaluable agrobiodiversity of our forests. Wild relatives of many food plants and spices such as pepper, ginger, cardamom, and nutmeg are present in the evergreen forests of Kerala, as also many medicinal plants. Rainforests are the natural home to butterflies. The largest of Indian butterflies, the southern bird wing, is common here in the Ghat forest. Butterflies exemplify the evolutionary fine-tuning of astounding accuracy. The larva of each butterfly has specific food plants on which the mother lays eggs. Forests are the epitome of competition and coexistence. The requirements of wild animals differ so much so that competition is avoided. This is called niche partitioning. Nilagri langur is endemic to the Western Ghats. Flowers and buds form major source of food besides fruits and insects. Lion-tailed macaques have only a very restricted distribution in the Western Ghats, south of North Canada. Fruits and insects form their main diet. They require a fairly large territory for successful food gathering. Clinia exarulata, the endemic tree species of the Ghats, flowers round the year providing rich rewards to the primates. Widely distributed in India, the Hanuman Langa is seen in the Himalayan foothills. In Kerala, they are common in China and other dry forest tracks. Fur picking is a universal habit among monkeys. It is actually a courtship behavior pattern meant for strengthening the family bond among themselves. Bonnet monkey has a high habitat mobility from forests to sacred groves amidst human habitations. The bonnet monkey has a closely knit social organization with males dominating over the rest of the clan. Ways and habits of these monkeys are affected by their association with human beings. In some of our tourist centers, these monkeys have taken a liking to human food. This changing food habits can have an adverse impact on their health. Ecotourism, in its real sense, can be realized only if a self-restrained 
tourism culture is developed while dealing with pristine environments. Normally, the wild animals are active late in the evenings and early in the mornings. Wild boars are omnivorous. They feed on a variety of foods, ranging from tubers, insects, earthworms, snakes, to leftovers of carcasses abandoned by wild dogs. Elephants have an extraordinary sense of smell and hearing, but their eyesight is relatively poor. The lush green cover of Kerala is the result of a special geography. The heavy monsoon rains and the very well distributed rains at that, the wet and moist climate and the relatively stable temperature regime. The greenery here is maintained and nourished by a diversity of climates and the resulting habitats. It is not unusual to find warm, moist, tropical climate here, as well as cold and dry subtropical climate in Kerala. There are localities in these mountain stretches where the monsoon winds do not shower their kindness. These are the rain shadow regions, where evergreens are a far-fetched mirage as can be seen in the Chinar Wildlife Sanctuary. It is a rain shadow region and it has dry deciduous forests. In drier parts of the sanctuary, one can see thorny scrub jungle marked by the absence of large trees. Antinada Valley is juxtaposed between Anamalai Hills